Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, I had like this nice, uh, fucking scripted video out and shit, and I was editing it, and I deleted all the raw file, like the raw recordings, and I'm not going through that again, recording all that shit and editing it, because I just fucked it up so bad. So, this, uh, video is going to be about, uh, nitrous oxide. I'm kind of doing this off memory, but I got a pretty good, you know, memory in how nitrous oxide works. So, what it's used for. Nitrous oxide is primarily used... Um, as a propellant for like whipped cream, it's um, also used uh, as in cars, and it's um, lastly medical purposes is used as a like anesthetic and for anxiety during dental surgery. So that's uh, what it's primarily used for. Its mechanism of action or how it works is it acts as an NMDA antagonist, which um, ketamine and PCP also act as NMDA antagonists. So, it, nitrous does kind of give off a mild ketamine high. Um, it also releases dopamine, which is primarily what causes the euphoria of nitrous oxide. Um, the effects are, like I said, somewhat similar to ketamine. I mean, it's obviously not as strong. It's not even close to being as strong. It doesn't really cause, like, dissociative effects, per se, but it can produce a mild, like, you know, mild dissociative feeling, I guess is what I'm trying to say, not hallucinogenic, like extremely hallucinogenic, it's a little hallucinogenic, but it might feel a little bit like, like a drunkenness, like a drunken stupor, but, um, yeah, that's primarily what the effects are, the major, like, effects, um, side effects, now the side effects can be very important, because, like, it's generally safe, but used in long, um, long amounts, it can cause, uh, neurotoxic effects, because, um, nitrous oxide canisters just contain oxygen, so it can kill brain cells or cause, like, some other neuro, uh, neurotoxic effects, and using any, um, any, like, NMDA antagonist too long, and this is also a side effect of PCP, and I don't believe it, has been 100% proven that nitrous oxide causes it, but it is a possibility. They're called Olney's lesions, or Olney's lesions, basically where fucking holes get, like, eaten in your brain, and your brain starts, like, rotting from the inside out. It's actually, um, PCP and ketamine and other, like, NMDA antagonists are the only drug that, like, can physically eat a hole in your brain. Like, just so fucked up, and I definitely would not want that to happen to me. Another uh, side effect of nitrous oxide specifically is vitamin B12 deficiency, and these um, side effects from this can come within days or even weeks of using it. So the solution to vitamin B deficiency is just taking high, like mega doses of vitamin B12, which um, doesn't fix it right away. It can take a little bit, um, and also isn't a hundred percent way to fix it. So. That's another side effect, and I'm not sure if it can cause addiction. It It is euphoric, so it technically probably could, but I wouldn't, like, count on it actually being addictive because of how short the duration is. The primary effects usually only last, like, two to three minutes. So if you want, it like, a sustained high, you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to keep, you know, inhaling at that shit quite a while. Uh, how people um, get it or how people use it people primarily buy it in whipped cream like um, canister things not like buying ready whip but like the canisters used to propel it you can buy um, them online in bulk they're called whippets um, a lot of people will like spray it into a balloon and then inhale it um, or pass it around at music festivals so it is somewhat of a social drug I don't want to say you know people it's not as social as, like, weed or something, but people do use it socially, you know, passing the balloon around at, like, music festivals. It is apparently quite a common thing, and it also, um, apparently, you know, synergizes very well with music and music festival and being around people. And because, of you know, it's short half-life, it's kind of just, you know, a nice, like, you know, take a quick hit off and then you're good for, you know, you don't, like, have to deal with any crash or any come up or anything. It's pretty, um... It's pretty nice and short and sweet, I would say. I've done it a few times. I've only never, I've never done an actual whip it. I've just done it from like the whipped cream ready whip. And it, it, you know, the primary like peak for me probably only lasted like 50 seconds. But it, it was enjoyable. Um, I wouldn't say it's not enjoyable. It's just, 
I feel like it's kind of a waste of time because of how like short it is. But if you want like a sweet, you know, short and sweet drug, I would definitely um. I wouldn't recommend doing it, obviously, but I would like that. I wouldn't think it'd be too harmful unless you get like really fucking addicted to it, which I don't think can happen. But if you do it too long enough, like I said, the side effects can be pretty nasty. So, in conclusion, I want to give a, a shout out to Gangrene. Um, I don't. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name, but he graciously donated me three dollars, which is awesome. I'm. I have a coffee page or a coffee or Ko-Fi page. Basically, it's where you give you like donate just three dollars. So it's not like a Patreon. It's not like repeated monthly, but it's just like a nice three dollar tip. If you like my videos, if you think, um, if you want to like tip me, I guess is the best way I could say. It. But I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. I will have a better planned out video next time. I just kind of wanted to get a video video out for you guys tonight. Um. Really big thanks for almost, we're almost at 300 subs, which is just mind-blowing that, you know, 300 people would want to watch my videos. It's just such a cool feeling. It's a really cool feeling, and I want to thank you guys a lot for that. But anyways, I will catch you later. Goodbye.